welcome back to Music Talks Online. Are you ready to get started? Fantastic. Let's see what's inside envelope number one. In our pink envelope today, we have Tommy Thumb. So we need to hide our fingers for this one. Tommy Thumb, Tommy Thumb, where are you? Here I am. Here I am, how do you do? Peter Pointer, Peter Pointer, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Toby Tall, Toby Tall, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Ruby Ring, Ruby Ring, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Baby small, baby small, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Fingers all, fingers all, where are you? Here we are, here we are, how do you do? Let's see what's inside envelope number two. Our yellow envelope inside this this week is the wheels on the bus. Can you get your wheels ready? Let's have the wheels, the wipers and the doors. Are you ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long the wipers on the bus go swish 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 the wipers on the bus go swish 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 all day long the doors on the bus go open and shut open and shut open and shut the doors on the bus go open and shut all day long the wheels on the bus go round and round round and round round and round the wheels on the bus go round and round all day long let's see what's in envelope number three our musical instrument envelope get your musical instruments ready if you've got them we'll go through the song twice once with actions and words with instruments. So inside our orange envelope today is Bar Bar Black Sheep. Are you ready? Actions first. Bar Bar Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Thank you, said the master. Thank you, said the dame. Thank you, said the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, so we'll do that with our instruments. Or you can clap along, or you can do the actions. My instrument today is a little tambourine. Are you ready? Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes. Uh, yes, sir, uh, three bags full. One for the master and one for the day. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Thank you, said the master. Thank you, said the dame. And thank you, said the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, ba. Fantastic. Instruments down and we'll see what's inside our envelope number four. Our blue envelope. Here we go. Inside our blue envelope today is I had a little turtle. And for this one we need to make a turtle with our hands. So get one hand in front of you, take the other hand and put your fingers in between, leaving your thumbs out and roll those fingers over and the bottom fingers too. You should just have your thumbs sticking out. I had a little turtle, 
His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. And now he's lying in his bed with a bubble in his throat. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Pop! Fantastic. One more song for you this week in envelope number five. Let's see what it is. Inside our purple envelope, we have Hickory Dickory Duck. So for this one, we need our clocks. So can you get your clock ready? Here's your little mouse at the bottom. Tick tock, tick tock, Hickory Dickory Duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Duck. Tick tock, tick tock, Hickory Dickory Duck. The mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck two, the mouse went boom! Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck three, the mouse went whee! Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck four, the mouse said no more. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And that's it for singing today. I'm going to head over to craft time and I'll see you there in a minute. You're going to head over to story time to see my special guest. Hi again, I'm Peter. Last week, John told you about our fishing trip. I'm going to continue the story. We sat on a beach with Jesus, having a breakfast of freshly caught fish. Whilst we were sitting there, Jesus asked me, Peter, do you love me? And of course, I told him, yes. And Jesus said, then feed my lambs. I was a little puzzled. But then I realised he meant look after my people. But then Jesus asked me again, Peter, do you love me? I said, you know I love you. And he said, look after my sheep. That confirmed that Jesus wanted me to take care of his people. I thought that was it. But Jesus asked me again, Peter, do you love me? I wondered what was going on. Jesus asked me, not once, not twice, but three times. And then I remembered another question that I had been asked three times. Do you know Jesus? I realised what Jesus was doing. I gave him a look that said, I'm sorry. But I just said, you know everything, Lord. You know I love you. He gave me a look that said, you are forgiven. But he just said, take care of my sheep. Jesus has forgiven me. And now I have a very important job to tell the world about the love of Jesus. Thank you, Peter, for that story. And that was a good end to the story that we've been looking at. So today, to help us remember, we are going to make three numbers. One, two, and three. To help remind us that Peter denied knowing Jesus three times and was asked three times by Jesus, do you love me, before he was forgiven. So we're going to make some promises to God, to Jesus, on our numbers. So what you need is a piece of card, mine's just from a cereal box, a pen and some scissors. 
So to start with, I'm going to write my numbers. Now you might need help with this. I'm going to write the number one, the number two, and the number three. Now I've done it very quickly. So you can see I've got three numbers on my card. The next thing I want to do is cut them out. I'll only cut one of them out for now because you don't want to sit and watch me cutting out numbers all afternoon, do you? And again, I will go quite quickly. You take your time when cutting out. The scissors are not very safe if you don't use them properly. So I'm just going to cut out the number one very, very quickly, you can see. But I'm making sure to keep my fingers a safe distance away from the scissors. There we go, almost done. Okay, now I can decorate that if I want to. But right now, I'm just going to try and think of a promise that I could make to Jesus. So I might want to promise to be good as much as I can. I might want to promise to pray more. I might want to promise to help people to read my Bible more. There's lots of different promises you could make to Jesus. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to write one down. I think I'm going to promise to help more. So I'm just going to write help people on the bottom of my number. And that's just one of my promises. I have two more promises to make. So maybe I will promise to pray more. Maybe I'm going to promise on the third promise. Hmm, what could I promise? I could promise to read my Bible. So I'm just going to write that down. And there's my three promises. You can promise whatever you want. Make sure they're promises that you can keep. I will see you here next week with my new storyteller. So we're going to have one storyteller for the rest of the term. I shall see you back here then. Until then, have a lovely week. Bye.